Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're doing an analysis of one of my new Lego towers that I have made. Now, when I make Lego towers, I actually take apart my previous one and make a new one. Because I do not have enough pieces to just keep making new ones. I am not that rich, guys. Um, I'm... Blah, 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 blah. But I do love Lego. Anyway, um, the point is, is that we have this tower. Now, you know, as I do make more Lego, I am trying to always build bigger and better as I should, or as I would anyway, I guess. Uh, that sounded weird. Um, but, yeah, so this tower is one I made, yes, no, two days ago, yeah, um, forgetting, I'm, like, kind of, like, out of my mind right now, um, but, where should I start with it, well, first, yeah, I'll start at the first floor, like usual, um, we have, so, I built this on the 32 by 32 base plate, this is that tower I was gonna, that I made, you know, I made a short about a 32 by 32 base plate that somehow got 1.1 th 1. 1 thousand views. Yeah, YouTube just decides to promote a few of my videos. Um, it's like a weird algorithm thing. I have to probably research that type of stuff more. Uh, but as you can see, there's this 32 by 32 base plate that's showing here, you know, every, it's actually two 16 by 32 base plates combined. Um, but it was sturdy, so, and I wanted to create a 32 by 32 base plate to make it look like I'm an official Lego YouTuber. No. Yeah, but I, I just wanted to create a 32 by 32 base plate. Um, I, I love the design I made for the first floor. You know, I just put a bunch of my main window pieces, um, as you can see down here. Um, so I have doors on each side. These are like the actual front entrance doors. On the other side, there are also doors uh, right here. One of them has opened for me to then close it by accident. Okay, no. And I closed it again. I really have to add handles onto these doors. I don't know why I keep forgetting. And now I'm failing. I just like keep pushing it back in. I don't know why I keep doing this. Um, yeah, anyway, let's give up on that. Um, we have then our second floor here. So I added a porch. Um, my parents loved it a lot. I mean, who doesn't like porches? I like porches. We have a porch. Porch. Um, but yeah, and so, you know, usually I would, I, I don't make interior for Lego buildings, nor could I really afford it, I mean, anyway. Uh, but if this were an interior, I'd probably put a restaurant or something. Um, that sentence almost didn't make any sense because <laughs> I didn't know where I was going with it, <laughs> obviously. I, it just... A lot of, sometimes I say sentences, they just like turn redundant after I think about them as I say the sentence. Um, I'm probably like, I, I just, you know, I don't have any brain anymore, it seems. Um, I have lost capability here. I'm sure I still have brain cells, but you know, obviously they're not working. Um, <laughs> So, for the second floor, you know, I don't really have a, a plethora of um, certain Lego pieces, you know. I really have to mix and match all of them and, like, squeeze in every last bit of one color and try to make all the colors blend, make them fit together to make one good building or, you know, with my Lego. And so, you know, with the second floor, I was actually very proud because... I was able to utilize all the window pieces I didn't have that much of, but just enough for me to make some type of symmetry on, between each column here. Um, as you can see, I made two, uh, four by three by one. Uh, that's not how you say it. It's actually 
one by four by three. Uh, window pieces, one, two, two of them here, two of them here, one, one here, and two of them here. Now, this created good symmetry, um, and so luckily this, you know, it, it created good symmetry, and, you know, I was still able to utilize other colors and make it look fully well um, rounded and a good second floor. Um, I think the first two floors capture kind of the usually normal idea for like the first two floors of the skyscraper. They bring out the retail aspect of it. Usually uh, large skyscrapers these days, at least, I mean, in most city planning, it's good to always have retail on the first two floors of a mixed use skyscraper or really, in fact, any skyscraper, or any building in a somewhat too high density commercial area. Um, so that's what we have here. <laughs> um, so yeah, you could call this like the retail lobby area, or whatever. Um, if you can see inside, there's actually like a gap. I mean, the whole all of my buildings are have no interior, nor do they have any ceiling. But when I I focused mainly on the lobby, and you know, in the lobby, I was thinking that I'd actually put some ceiling and pretend there's like an actual like lobby where you know sometimes you see straight up the skyscraper in the lobby or at least a few stories that's kind of what i tried to do i don't know if you can see it there um there are fences uh if my finger is pointing to them okay it's just covering them anyway there are fences down there on the second floor i meant it to be so that kind of this it's actually supposed to be covered here on the third floor but on the second floor i meant it so that um the lobby would span up about two floors, so it would actually seem like a lobby, you know, high ceilings, and have that that type of normal, you know, skyscraper thing. My vocab my vocabulary has like died today. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I can't describe anything well, nor this doesn't sound that professional. Uh, anyway, yeah. So I mean, it's a common aspect. Most skyscrapers, you know, I don't exactly research interior as much as I do with exterior. Although I do know the basic elements I see in a lot of uh, high rises or skyscrapers with the interiors, and I have noticed certain patterns. So I added them here. Um, then we move on to the kind of the first main body of the skyscraper which consists of this, 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 these floors, basically. Um, if I had more red and if I had more white columns and red uh, frames, I would probably build this main body up much higher than it actually is. But overall, I think with my amount of pieces, the skyscraper turned out pretty well. Um, there's not really much to say about this part. It really gives a better look to the overall skyscraper. Now, if I, originally I intended for something like this to go much higher, but then the width and length of it took up too many of the pieces. So I had to fill up the entire area that would make the skyscraper actually look good or look like it didn't just like get 10 times thinner after the second floor. I had to, you know, make it blend in, obviously. And so I used up a lot of pieces here and, uh, it still looks pretty good to me, um, like overall. Um, uh, then we have uh, kind of this area uh, here, which kind of spans up four more floors in consideration of how high a mini figure is to, and where I actually put ceilings. But So there are no windows here. Um, I don't have enough one by six by five window uh, transparent wall elements. Uh, I use basically all of them here and uh, I use a lot of my window stuff here. And really in the first, you know, in the first third of the skyscraper. Now, as you can see, there are window elements here, but not enough matching ones to be put here. So because I had matching colors of these non-transparent wall elements, I just decided I would put them in place of the windows. Um, and there is a transparent element here. There's one on the other side, too, for the match, you know. Um, but mainly, that's kind of just what I did with those. And then the second part of it, you know, to give more element to my skyscraper, I decided, you know, I would use the curved um, 
four by four by one bricks and also the windows. I didn't know I had so many of these uh, four by four by one like brick gray bricks. I, I thought I only had like, I don't know. I don't know. But I didn't think I had this many, uh, like, you know, I didn't think I had 18. I think that's how much is used in this skyscraper. Um, I thought I had much less than that. So, I mean, I utilized that, built up another floor, made it look taller and better overall, you know, giving some depth. This skyscraper obviously doesn't really look that good. I'm just happy I got it to be tall. Um, and so far, to me, I mean, my parents said it was the best quality. I haven't showed it to anyone yet. Um, but yeah. Then we finally have kind of uh, uh, the final part of the skyscraper where I was starting to run out of these colors, even though there's actually a lot of colors here too. But this is where kind of more colors were utilized. I think, though, that this part didn't really ruin any part of the skyscraper and there's literally a big spider if my camera will focus climbing up my skyscraper um ha okay uh you'll be just be in the video spider i don't know i used to like spiders but Now he's just climbing down. Okay. <laughs> I'll just title the video Spiders on my skyscraper now. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Uh, so we have this last part here. Not much to say. I, I use a lot more colors. Um, luckily, I had enough of these like matching colors to still make, make it symmetrical and all that. Uh, but, you know, these are the last few floors to round out that kind of wedding cake shape this overall skyscraper has. Um, you know, similar to Empire State Building, Chrysler Building. Most buildings have wedding cake shapes to help the wind not – to help the wind resistance of the skyscraper and to actually hold it up in place. I mean, it, this also is better for sunlight onto the, the lower levels, you know, the ground. And so, you know, wedding cake – it always looks good to to me to me um but yeah you know i just has to round off the rest make the skyscraper taller um and then i made an antenna um now when i was explaining you know the parts of my last skyscraper there's kind of more new things i tried so there's kind of more to explain but now that i think about it, i just you know here's my skyscraper um so yeah, I have this here. Um, it's kind of kind of a rant video about my skyscraper. Here's the spider. Um, I don't know what to do with this guy. He's just here, right? Um, and he's moving. But guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, make sure you comment if you like the skyscraper and if you want me to make more skyscrapers in the future, um, which I probably will anyway. Thank you for watching my rant and my like loss, loss of vocabulary. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.